We've learned a lot since SARS and the collaboration that we have now at the local levels, at the provincial level, and with the federal government is really paying off in our ability to work together and ensure that people are supported so that we can do our global part to pre prevent spread of disease around the world, but also with that we can do our own domestic part to protect the health of Canadians. I think there is the one area that, that we all haven't done that well on, and that is the area of, of respecting people, understanding that this this is an international virus. This isn't something that's related to any one person or group of people. This is something that we all share in. There's still a lot of uh, d d discrimination out there. We want to make sure that people know that it's safe to go out. It's safe to come to your favorite restaurants to come and eat. It's safe to go shopping. We want to make sure that we can help dispel some of the, that misinformation that's out there. Uh, that's one of the reasons why we wanted to join all of you today. And uh, we're going to continue to work on that as we're going to continue to work for the, self, the safety, the health and protection of all Ontarians. We uh, have to stand together uh, in making sure that as uh, this challenge uh, goes on in front of us and hopefully continues to be as well contained as it has been, that we uh, pay attention to the fact that this is an international virus, as the minister said, that this is something that is uh, potentially posing uh, a risk to many communities, uh, but at the same time uh, is something that has been well contained, and that what we must not do is allow ourselves in any way to stigmatize or to uh, stop patronizing the businesses of or otherwise treat differently any group of people, and I think in particular of our Chinese Canadian population, which is so large and so uh, positive a contributor to the well-being of Toronto and to Canada. Canada. And uh, in many cases, they have seen uh, effects on their businesses and other kinds of effects uh, on them personally that we would uh, really want to avoid by standing together and standing in solidarity with them.